you can see that it's a case of a 73 year old man admitted to the ICU since 4 days he has developed fever, cough and hemoptysis sputum microscopy has revealed pus cells and long slender acid fast bacilli so pus cells with long slender acid fast bacilli pointing towards mycobacterium tuberculosis okay and is a case of fever and chronic cough with hemoptysis so the clinical diagnosis here to be uh, tuberculosis to be particular here it is pulmonary type of uh, tuberculosis okay so uh, so the question here is what are the infection control or precautions need to be taken again a point to be uh, remembered that uh, tuberculosis is transmitted by airborne route it is transmitted by aerosols therefore you need to take airborne precaution you need to take airborne precautions and airborne precaution is a type of transmission based precaution is a type of transmission based uh, precaution okay so the question here is how transmission based uh, precaution differs from standard precaution so uh, let us discuss transmission based uh, precaution in detail earlier session we have discussed that standard precaution are the set of infection control practices which has to be implemented in all patients okay i repeat standard precaution are the set of infection control practices which have to be implemented in all patient while handling all clinical specimen and while handling all sharp and needles regardless okay regardless of the infection status of those patients specimen or the subs okay so regardless of the infection status so the classical example of standard precaution is hand hygiene which need to be followed regardless the patient is infectious or not okay so whereas transmission based precaution are another component of infection control measure so the infection prevention and control measures are classified into two ways one is standard precaution what we have discussed now the other one is transmission based precaution transmission based precautions are the set of infection control practices which should be followed over and above standard precaution in addition to standard precaution these are additional infection control precautions which need to be followed that depends upon the infectious agent mode of transmission so uh, whatever infectious agent you are suspecting based upon its mode of transmission you have to take a certain additional infection control precautions which are called as transmission based precautions okay so you have discussed uh, so uh, so we have discussed in the previous session there are three mode of transmission contact transmission droplet transmission and airborne transmission the detail we have discussed already in the previous session so there are three mode of transmissions in the hospital infectious agents will be transmitted by majorly by three mode contact droplet and airborne and therefore the transmission based precautions are, are also classified into three types contact precautions droplet precautions and airborne precaution uh, let us discuss all this uh, one by one we will begin with the case scenario so it's a case of a 70 year old woman after four days of surgery for total knee replacement she has developed erythema pus discharge at the wound site at the surgical site she has developed erythema and pus discharge wound swab uh, sent for culture uh, collected from the pus discharge sent for culture has grown mrs uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus so it's a typical case of surgical site infection where the uh, uh, where the patient has uh, developed pus discharge at the surgical site which has grown the uh, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus the total 10 patients are housed in the same ward and only two nurses are posted hand rubs is available only at the entrance and at the nursing station so inadequate inadequate hand rubs because it is only a present at the entrance as well as at the nursing station it is not 
available at each bed hand rubs are supposed to be available at each bed which is not available total 10 patients are housed and only two nurses are there so uh, so you have a very low nurse to uh, patient ratio okay nurse to uh, patient ratio is 1 is to 5 which is very very bad it should be uh, 1 is to 1 has to be the ratio so which is very very bad and uh, there is only one stethoscope in the entire ward for the all the 10 patients one uh, stethoscope one bp apparatus and one thermometer so there is always a sharing of the patient care equipment uh, such as a stethoscope bp apparatus and thermometer they share among in the, uh, among the patient so this also is an important distractor it is a practice in the ward to use the same globes continuously due to shortage of supply so not changing the globe in between the patient is again important 